Good morning students. In this video, we are going to discuss Kanthapura, one of the finest novels written by Raja Rao in 1938. It is also known as Gandhian novel because it shows the impact of Mahatma Gandhi's teaching on a small South Indian village named Kanthapura. Here in this novel, Gandhi's teaching and the struggle for independence fuel the villagers with a sense of pride that they give up every materialistic thing and stand against the Britishers. Raja Rao has written a lot of other famous works like The Serpent and the Rope and The Cat and the Shakespeare, A Tale of India. We will discuss all his other works sometimes later in our videos. Subscribe to our channel for more such updates related to English literature. And also don't forget to check out our study material on GATE and UGCNET English Literature from our official website limitlessliterature.com. So now let's quickly get on to the story Kanthapura by Raja Rao. The story is narrated by Achaka who is an elderly Brahmin woman who knows everything about all the villagers in great detail. She narrates the story in a non-linear way, same like the tales narrated in Indian Purans. Alright, so she gives an account of all the villagers, porters, wearers, parihas, sort of lower caste people living in huts on the outskirts. You see, caste system is also one of the themes of this novel along with the villagers standing against the Britishers. So Achaka is the narrator of this story and the protagonist of her story is Murti who leaves the village and goes to a city for university education. Murti develops an interest in philosophy and he studies the philosophical teachings of Mahatma Gandhi and becomes an activist. As you know, Gandhiji was against caste system and of course Britishers. Murti too started following the same footsteps of Gandhiji. He also started condemning the British lifestyle Indians have adopted. As we see in this novel, Murti is now back to his village and he starts convincing others also to follow the footstep of Mahatma Gandhi. He started convincing people to get into wheel spinning every morning. He started talking about non-violence and how Britishers have looted the India and its culture. Everything is fine but the village priest does not like his protest about the caste system and says that now he is not a part of their community. He excommunicates him. Murti is a Brahmin and it is very shameful that he is excommunicated by a priest. When this news reaches to the mother of Murti, she gets into shock. Unable to digest the news, she passes away. His mother's sudden demise hugely impacts him and he starts living with Rangamma. Rangamma is another character. She is a widow but she is educated and politically active. She consoles and sympathizes Murthy. She encourages him to get back into the Indian independence movement. She helps Murthy to overcome the loss of his mother's death and moves on in his life. Now, as the story continues, we see the clerks of local coffee estate send an invitation to Murthy. They want him to address the local caste laborers at the meetings, hoping to create a great awareness of Gandhian teachings among them. So Murthy agrees and is very eager to propagate the message of Gandhi to the people of Kanthapura. But what happens is that a local policeman named Bade Khan appears in this scenario and did not let it happen. He stops Murthy. The laborers community who are present there get angry on Bade Khan and they all beat this policeman. Murthy finds it very discouraging. Followers of Gandhi cannot be so much violent. So he gets on a three day fast. As now he is on three day fast, the widow a Pariya girl Ratna started caring for him. As I have already said, Pariya is a lower caste community and they are living in the huts on the outskirts. Murthy is a Brahmin. And yet now, he is breaking this myth of untouchability in the village. He convinces many villagers to spin wheel and follow Gandhian way of life. That is to speak truth, reject caste hierarchy and stand against the Britishers. Everything in the village he is doing popularizes him more and more. And as the time passes, he becomes a leader of a committee in the village. The British government blames Murti for violence and arrests him. The committee of which he was a leader, all the volunteers arrange money to pay his bail. But Murti refuses and spends the next three months in prison. On the other hand, we have Rangamma. She is a widow and after the death of Murti's mother, she encourages Murti to overcome the loss. 
So this Rangama is also a sort of activist or you can say she is active politically. She inspires the women of Kantapura and gathers all of them to follow the Gandhian's way of life, Gandhian's teaching and revolt against the Britishers. So the whole village starts following Gandhian's way of life, Gandhian's non-violence and they start protesting against the Britishers. They keep on doing activities non-violent in nature and protested the police and government for three to four days straight in a row. In return, British government is fed up now with all this protest. The British government and soldiers treat the villagers very badly. The policemen and British government are all angry and more vicious than ever before. And at last, towards the end of the novel, what happens is that they set fire on the entire village. Many people are killed in Kantapura and many villagers left the village to another village, Kashipura. Everyone is dispersed now and goes on with the life. As Murti, who was in prison before, now he is out of it. On hearing the news of what Britishers have done with Kantapura and with the people living there, Murthy gets disappointed. Murthy gives up. He feels the path of non-violence is useless and plans to join Jawaharlal Nehru's movement for the equal distribution of wealth. Whereas Mahatma Gandhi is an idealist, Jawaharlal Nehru is a realist. Murthy starts becoming more practical and he joins Zuala Nehru's movement at the end of the novel. Rangama is still in jail and with this the story comes to the end. I hope you found this brief summary of Kantapura by Raja Rao helpful. That's it for this video. Thank you.